But I, I'm tired of hearing I'm a Nazi. I'm really sick, because I'm not. But I think by them falsely I, accusing I, people, some people are going to become Nazis. I, I am. I am. <coughs> now what? I am. Now Supreme victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in unprecedented times. Uh, I've already speculated that we are in a simulation. I've said this multiple times. Things are getting weirder and weirder. The simulation is supposed to be, right, like things are normal. You don't notice anything weird happening. But there's just glitches happening because in a regular real world, the stuff that's been happening, would it normally happen? Kanye is that to a T. Where Kanye is going, where he's headed and the things that he's doing is like this would not happen in a normal setting. This seems so wacky. It's like this reality has to be fake. This is so crazy. So I've already been covering the stuff that Kanye's been doing before. And here he goes. And this was the natural conclusion that he was going to end up on InfoWars. It was it was it was just going to happen. He's been on all these other big platforms. It was a disaster at Tim Pools. And so, of course, he's going to reach out to Alex Jones and get the quote unquote word out and and speak his truth and, and just do all this wild stuff to the point where we have all these amazing, juicy clips that uh, I'm sure some of you have probably seen already. Uh, and what I'm going to do though, is kind of scrub through some of the actual stream. I don't have time to go through the entire thing, but I want to see if I can find some stuff that other people have not been circulating around. So we're going to start off right here where this is like, I don't know how many minutes into the stream. It's only 12 minutes into the actual stream that they did, the show they did. And, uh, this is where like stuff kind of like starts to pick up a little bit. Let me see if I got the volume good. I'm saying... All right. I am a classical liberal at heart, so I love everybody, and I judge people by who, what they do, not what color they are. Yeah. Um. I. I mean, I don't know that classical liberal thing. It's like, um, Sargon of Akkad and uh, uh, Dave Rubin and stuff, and then you know you see the style of content they make and stuff. So it's it's always funny when people say that. And then I look at the things you said, and some of them out of context, I don't agree with, but compared to a liberal. A modern liberal saying white people are inherently evil and white people are bad because of their skin color. And then that's what the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center and these leftist groups in Hollywood have pushed. There has been a lot of dumb bullshit that has happened with like progressive ideologues. There was a lot of ideological zealots that were saying a lot of dumb stuff like that being like basically it's like, hey, all these people, all these marginalized groups were trashed for so long. It's time for the white people to get a taste of their own medicine, which was really stupid and which gave a lot of strength to the underground groups of like white supremacists to be like, see, everything we've been saying is right. Look what's happening, which was a huge issue. But the fact that like that, like giving a platform to the white supremacists and the white supremacist talking points is obviously not the answer. <laughs> what he's wearing just uh, looks like a race car with a Bible and uh, uh, <laughs> there's these helmets on Mass Effect like that look exactly like that. And this dude is just the fact <laughs> I hate this because like people like Alex Jones and Nick Fuentes is there, you know, the obvious white nationalist. Uh, they're just taking advantage of an ill, a mentally ill person. And that's what's so sad about this. I'm laughing and everything because the, what can you do? It's almost like dark comedy. It's like a, it's like a tragic comedy. You, you see that it's tragic, but it's also funny in a way because of how messed up it is. All you can really do is laugh at it because what, what else are we supposed to do? What? I, I can't reach him. It doesn't seem like anybody can reach him. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'll stop. And the reason I, I I wanted Nick. People have heard from Nick, but he people haven't heard from Nick with Ye standing right next to him. You know. Yeah, because def because that's what really matters, right? What matters is what per somebody says in front of you, and not what they say off screen. <laughs> like, is you know you notice people do that a lot though. Um, so and so has never been mean to me or whatever, but then they're a piece of trash to everybody else. So then they'll still c continue to associate with that one person. People are very like self-centered in that way. They're just like, well, as long as I haven't been wronged, I'm still going to associate with this person instead of like seeing the mountains of evidence that this person's a piece of trash. Like Nick Flintus has a mountain of garbage that he said. And then he's like, ah, whatever. He seems cool to me. When we talk, 
we're we're bonding. We he totally gets me. He totally understands my anti Semitism. <laughs> no, it's like that's the thing that the Zionists control the three hundred um in control of the media, in control of the governments, they don't want us to connect to each other. Like my dad said, Oh yeah, that's 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 what's happening, right? Okay. They say you're a <laughs> I'll let him finish. Anti-Semitic, but they say he's a white supremacist. And he's asking me. Yes. Well, what's the difference? I said, Dad, there is no difference. It's just separation and confusion. They want to separate and confuse the Christians and make us afraid to stand next to each other. A Christian can stand next to anyone. We can go visit R. Kelly in prison. (laughs) Oh, no. They want to single out one person and burn them to the core that is a zionist approach and they're asking me to use that same approach well hey don't say all people just say specifically the businessmen and then i go on lex freeman and i say who it's specifically and that's still not enough they're still taking it too far um it, it's why it's not enough mr yay is because you already let the cat out of the bag before you didn't start with just the businessmen you you already screwed up by not specifically just saying these handful of people I have a problem with. Maybe some other people would connect dots and then you would have to say, I don't care that they're Jewish. The problem is you cared from the very beginning. So you immediately shot yourself in the foot and you're not you're saying Zionist and this and this and that. And I'm like, you screwed yourself. <laughs> you, there's no coming back from that. Once you say anti-Semitic stuff or white supremacist talking points, people are going to be like, well, obviously, if it walks like a duck. That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. <laughs> I like how Alex Jones is trying so hard to be a good interviewer and steer him in a direction to save him a little bit. And he's just like, ah, I see good things about Hitler. Like, Hitler's pretty dope, actually. This guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician, you can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good, and I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. How about that one? That language is so stupid because... Somebody is heinous as uh, Ted Bundy or whoever just went viral with the Netflix documentary dinner uh, documentary. I can't think of off the top of my head right now. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. And uh, I'm sure Jeffrey Dahmer at some point probably donated or did something. And it's like, oh, that's nice of them. That's not the fucking point, man. There's bare minimum things that people are supposed to do. Some people create some things that is a benefit to other people. That's cool, but what is their character? Obviously, Hitler was an obvious piece of trash, and that does not need defend. You don't need to defend people that are pieces of shit and be like, well, but they also did. Like, no, 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 that's not the fucking point, bro. That's not the point. That's never the point. That That's so stupid to even try to do that. The All it looks like and all it really is is like you're just justifying you're trying to make somebody who is an obvious piece of shit into like, well, they did some good. And I'm like, who gives a fuck that they did something good? Good should be expected. Good should be the standard. Helping should be the standard. Being evil and being just maniacal and all this stuff is what we want to detest. And we don't want to celebrate and normalize evil dictators and, and mass murderers as if, well, they're, they have good tendencies, too. Like, shut up, dude. Ari Emanuel, how you like that one? Hey, Ron, you going to do anything to fix Chicago? <laughs> Ron Emanuel. <laughs> hey, look, I don't like Ron Emanuel either, but I don't like that 99.9% of politicians. So, you know, fair enough. My favorite thing that I got to say with uh, Tim Pool was... Rahm Emanuel was right there next to Obama. Jared Kushner was right there next to Trump. What are those two people, those two Zionists, oh, I gave it away, have in common? Uh, Nick, can you pick that up and uh, expound oh, on that? Here we 
<laughs> yes, uh, Nick, uh, Mr. Uh, white supremacist that marched at the Unite the Right and was extremely excited and, and, and pumped about it. And that says, you know, you know, Kanye, your marriage, when you got married to Kim Kardashian, he thinks that y'all should never have been married in the first place. He does not agree with interracial marriage. Yes, please, Nick Flint says, continue. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and it's interesting because you've been going on these interviews with Lex Friedman and with Tim Pool and Piers Morgan, and they always say, well, don't talk about a group, talk about the individuals. And I would point out, one, it's hypocritical because in the same interview, Tim Pool said, well, wouldn't Ye be so great for the black vote? You can say the black vote, but you talk about Jewish businessmen, and somehow that's a problem. Um, okay, Mr. – What? A, I hate this guy so much, dude. He's so stupid. So um, talking about the black vote, there is nothing derogatory about that. Saying these group of people, you're just saying these are a group of people. What Kanye's doing is saying these group of people are evil. They're controlling things, and they're keeping me down. That is a very big difference. And to act like there isn't a difference in saying that, like, oh, kind of getting the black vote versus these people who happen to be Jewish are evil and they're controlling everything and they're screwing everything over and they're trying to do this and this and that, put me in jail. Very big fucking difference. Alex. Yes, sir. Um, I've got the perfect answer for the ADL. They are going to have to listen up. What we did is we brought Netanyahu with us. Ah. I mean, this is, I'm in the twilight zone right now. <laughs> exactly that. Exactly that. The fucking twilight zone, the matrix, the matrix is breaking because what is this? Net and Yahoo. That. <laughs> what, are you, what is he fucking carrot top? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god Netanyahu what do you have to say what do you have to say to Alex Jones right now Nick Fuentes and Ye it was bad it was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Ye okay <laughs> I'm fucking sweating Alex Jones is like, what the fuck is happening? Look at his face. He looks... <laughs> he looks like the... What, what is his name? Um, That Harold, that old dude, that old meme dude. I had no idea your voice is going to sound like that, Netanyahu. So you don't like Benjamin Netanyahu? <laughs> I just... I, I just heard about this guy two weeks ago since, like, the tweet, and I... <laughs> that's awesome he's just heard about benjamin netanyahu for the first time two weeks ago that's 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 legendary <laughs> thought he had a funny name i heard he's like really into like he's like a super killer i could die for saying this so in case this the last time you ever oh this is interesting looking on there it says five more uh herschel walker exes come forward to accuse him of terrifying violent behavior walk a uh, walker stumbles in final stretch of runoff that's very interesting. It seems like they're kind of trashing him because you would think they'd want to help him and not uh, even make put bring that to light. Very interesting. Or maybe they're getting ahead of that. Obviously, Herschel Walker is going to lose. So they're going to be like, yeah, we're just being fair and balanced. We're being very fair and balanced. You know, how we're always fair and balanced. You know, that's why we always bring on people that are center left and, and progressive and, 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 and not always just bring on people who are all about conservatism and uh, hating the Jews and the... Uh, <laughs> I love everybody equally, but I just keep bringing on people that keep trashing people on the left and people who uh, only believe in my narrative. And now I'm going to bring on Kanye West, who is obviously insane, but it's going to give me a lot of views because I, lo I need money because I will buy a billion dollars. Well, look, 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 look. I, I, I'm glad you guys are here and, and we can, we can. Yeah, you sure about that? We can sit here and upset. All I'm telling you is. <laughs> Kanye's just giggling like a fucking schoolboy. Do you guys realize <laughs> that the British government? I'm leaving for now until until it's another meeting, and then I'm gonna say something. All right. <laughs> you're not only an artist, you're a comedian. <laughs> but, but Nick, that's what I'm getting. You're very funny, Kanye. I love you so much. Uh, you always bring out the you bring out the props, just like uh, 
like like Carrot Top. I'm a big fan of Carrot Top because he's he's not a part of the globalist. I know most uh, redheaded people are actually evil. They're evil reptilians. That's why there isn't that many of them. They're all the reptilians, ladies and gentlemen. But Carrot Top's one of the good ones. He's very jacked. He's very juicy. I like his props. I see him every time I'm in Vegas. And every time I'm getting my prostitutes, it's very good. My uh, Don't forget that the prostitutes are transsexual. They are very hot and yummy. I know you saw them on my phone before. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Buy my f- stuff. <laughs> Getting at here is is that <laughs> is 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 that it was a uh, it does it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I, just, I mean, there's, listen, there's fluoride in the water killing us all. They're injecting us with GMO. My goodness, there is just my goodness. I I I am fucking. This timeline is so fucking wild, man. This timeline is so wild. The people, people. People that admire Kanye must be freaking out right now. I mean, I've always liked Kanye. I liked his music. I liked a lot of his old stuff. I actually really liked 80, 80, uh, 808's and Heartbreak. Um, <laughs> I mean, what can you say about this, man? He is... There is no... There's absolutely no coming back from this. Absolutely none. He is 100% set on this path that has been... You know, he has been influenced into this. But, uh, <laughs> whatever, man. We're in the Matrix. Do what you want. Hopefully we get rebooted. And, uh, maybe we'll reboot into something a little more reasonable. Or maybe something even more wackier. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Let me know what you think about this madness. Because this is nuts. And I'm going to keep a close eye on this stuff. Because this is fascinating.